everyone this is Bree. my mom is about to get here and we are going to well we she mostly is going to wallpaper a uh, wall in my house for me so that i can add some color and some cheerfulness to this house and before she gets here i am taking my ag1 as you guys know i love this stuff where's my lid this is a foundational nutritional supplement it supports whole body health there are so many benefits to taking it the main reasons I take it have been for energy. That's one of the reasons I started taking it. But it also really supports your gut, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes. It also supports your immune system, especially during the winter whenever sickness is rampant, with vitamin C and zinc and functional mushrooms. Another great thing about AG1 that I've come to really love is that it really helps with stress and mood balance. It has adaptogenic herbs. And I used to actually take a separate tincture for of um, ashwagandha and other adaptogenic herbs but now i just take the ag1 because it's already in there ag1 have worked really hard to source their ingredients from the best possible sources and the sources of their ingredients are actually what's called bioavailable what that means is that your body is better able to absorb them it's really simple but i think that's why i actually i instantly feel good after i drink this drink i i feel the nutrients going into my body i'm not just making them up, this up i'm not just saying this because this is sponsored i really do take this every day i've been taking it for months and months now i really really like it if you want to try this out you can scan the qr code or you can go to drinkag1.com backslash brief from scratch and they are going to give you a free welcome pack which includes a canister to hold your your ag1 a shaker uh, a free year supply of d3 and k2 as well as five free travel packs of ag1 and yeah thank you ag1 for sponsoring this video because i love your product just a piece big enough to cover your counter so that when i put the wallpaper on it okay it, this one has staples so it's a little better let me get it nice no perfect this is gonna be great so you guys know that when we moved into this house as lovely as it is, every wall is just stark white, so much white, and then some gray and blue. And as beautiful as this home is, it hasn't felt cozy to us. So over the last year that we've lived here, I have been working on making this home cozy. And I've showed you some of that process in a few different videos. I can link those at the end of this video if you wanna go back and watch the process. Today, I'm taking it up another level. I'm gonna show you all the things I've done over the past couple of months. And we are bringing some pops of color into this house and I'm so excited. My mom, who is Wonder Woman extraordinaire. <laughs> you are, you do everything. If I could be half like you, I would be an incredible person. Um, mom can do everything. She can fix computers, she can garden, she can fix cars and she can wallpaper walls and paint them and fix things she can fix sheetrock <laughs> mom is amazing so here she is and we are going to wallpaper this hallway oh isn't it pretty mom it's even prettier than i thought it was gonna be i wanted to add a subtle pop of color to the house but also some fun and i came i started researching wallpapers mom said she is really good at hanging wallpaper because she does it for my sister a lot who has a business with interior decorating and design. And, okay, so anyway, I chose this hallway for a couple of reasons. Let me show you why. One of the reasons is that you can see part of the hallway from this whole main part of the house. So I felt like having color coming out of that hallway would brighten the entire main part of the house, but it would still be subtle enough to not be overwhelming or tacky another reason is because this hallway okay the paint in this house is what's it called mom it's flat. flat yeah it's, it's a very flat paint yeah okay so it's flat and i had never lived in a home with flat paint and with whoa kids. with children yeah <laughs> let me tell you don't ever paint your walls flat if you have children because it shows every handprint every mark everything and, and you can't wash it and you can't wash it off with um, magic eraser because it leaves streaks or all over the, the walls off. or it just takes off the paint. So I do wash the walls quite often, but it never gets them fully clean and that's just like so frustrating because all the walls are white, so you see every little thing. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this hallway is like one of the worst because the kids come in and out of the garage right here a lot because then they go outside. 
The mud room is here, so they're always coming putting their stuff away. And the other reason is because there's not there's a window and a door, but other than that, it's pretty well. I feel like it's one of the simpler walls to paint or wallpaper in the house. I'm really excited to bring this color into the home. I know that a home doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing for it to feel like home, but I do believe that adding personal touches and bringing in pictures of your family and for us bringing in some color and some vibrancy will make this space feel even more like ours and just give you that feeling and that sensation of home when you come back from leaving or when you're just cozied up on a rainy day or any anyway. That's not the only thing I'm going to show you today. I've done some other things that I'm going to share with you. And then also I have my car is packed full of things that I went and got from the farm. And it's, it's things I honestly haven't really even seen in like five years. Has it been five years? Maybe it's been four, but anyways, it's been a really long time since I've seen this stuff because we got rid of most of our belongings whenever our house was moldy but there were some things that i kept that were able to be just easily wiped off and cleaned or they were in bins and so they didn't get mold on them to begin with because they were like sealed in bins and i went to the farm to take the kids uh, um, to arthur for the day and picked up i picked up a bunch of that stuff and honestly it was an emotionally draining and overwhelming experience I think because I had kept that stuff there for so long, thinking that when I unpacked it, it would be to unpack it there. And so even though we've moved quite a few times, I just left it there. Not because I didn't want to move it, but because I thought this stuff needs to stay here because it's going to go here into our home. Mm -hmm. And I think kind of admitting to myself that that's probably not going to happen is really, really difficult. And also just kind of like moving on. And I know that they're just things. It's not the attachment to the things. I think it's the attachment to the feeling of those things, yeah. to the memories of those things, to, um, the dream. to the dream. Yeah. So all that to say, I'm going to do that with you guys. Um, Repeat because I can't find it on the packaging. What does that mean? The repeat? If y'all are wanting to buy the same wallpaper, it comes in different colors. It's called Scandinavian yellow block print tulip strippable roll wallpaper. Beacon House is the brand. I got it at Home Depot. Mom's so pro that she showed up today with all of her own tools. Mm -hmm. show, them your, show, show them your bag. My tool bag. Her tool bag. She brought all of the stuff. I said, what do I need to go get at Lowe's? Nothing, I have it all. <laughs> Mom is pasting. Before I go out in the garage to start working on what I'm doing, look, she has a chalk thing like you use for construction <laughs> to make her lines. I just love it. Well, mom is putting up the wallpaper. She said she just needs my help now and then. I'm gonna work on some other big jobs. One thing Arthur's dad used to do is buy the kids silver dollars for their birthday each year. So I found that bin yesterday when I was at the farm. There's other stuff in there too, like a coin collection, but the silver dollars are in there. This is kind of silly, but I found a favorite pair of shoes in the barn that I haven't seen in a really long time. And then I knew this was there, but I found all these pictures from when I was young. That's me. I was probably 19 or 20 in that picture. So cute with my short hair. These are all high school pictures, some of them. That's me as a little girl with my dog Sparky. I wanted to find this one of me with dreadlocks. I used to be a hippie and that's the bus I lived on. That's me being a hippie. But I can't find my dreadlocks. I haven't found those pictures yet. There's one of me hugging my dad. It's not the best picture of my dreads, but you can see my dreads in it. Anyway, my dad passed away a long time ago, so it's a special picture to me. There's still more to get, but I, um, I can only really fit so much in my car.
that didn't all come from the farm. Just these bins, that bin, those bins, that bin. And mostly it's my art. And also like um, china and some other kind of like decorations. I thought that if I brought that stuff here, it would make this house feel more like our home because it was art and things that I had in our house for years and years. Not just the white house, not just the farmhouse, but um, you know, all the houses before that, that we lived in. I think what I need to do though, is actually pull all of this out and then reorganize all of these shelves to fit more bins and then go through this stuff. I let the kids just leave their Legos out out here because as you see, they have like ongoing designs happening. So I need to kind of figure out how to get that out of the way. I think I'll just put their designs up here and then all the loose Legos I'll just, this is a really cool bag. You literally just lay your Legos out on it and then boom, they're clean. Except obviously I gotta pick up all these little ones. I just know they'd be so upset if they came home and these were broken and busted up. I just wanna respect their hard work and make them feel respected that I'm not gonna mess up their stuff whenever I'm cleaning up, you know? There are some pretty elaborate sculptures here. All right, that's out of the way. And as you guys know, Things have got to get worse before they can get better, so let's go. I was just working on adjusting these shelves so I can fit more bins in, and these shelves are awesome. Usually, at least all the other shelving I've ever had, you have to take it completely apart to adjust the shelf levels. But these, you can literally just adjust the shelf you want to adjust. <laughs> Makes it so simple and it just clicks apart. I will link these below this video. These are very heavy duty. They hold a lot of weight. Easily just popped off. It easily just pops right back on. And you really can just do it with your hand. I just, I like using this tool. Okay, look at this. Before this shelf would only fit bins on this level, just like this one, it'll only fit bins on that one level. And now it'll fit bins on every single level. Now I prefer, if you're looking to be organized, I get clear bins with locking handles. And if you don't have shelves and you need to stack them, you need to get the same kind. Over time, the handles do fall off. So anytime I find a handle, I put it in a bin of its own <laughs> so I can go through and put handles back on as I find them. But that's how I organize because I can see what's in them. I do label. I know that right now all the labels on those bins are actually wrong. So look at that. That's all of our clothes and baby stuff that I'm keeping. This is all baby stuff that either I made or my mom made or Arthur's mom made to pass on to my kids when they're older. Now I'm just gonna go through and line up all of these shelves with this one so that I can put all of our Christmas stuff and then just like random stuff on this shelf. I am gonna take a little snack break because my head is swimming, which means I need to eat. Yeah. I'm gonna scoot through here, mama. Go ahead. I'm not gonna show you guys what she's done because I wanna surprise you at the end with how cool it looks. But one of my things is I used to not stop and eat when doing projects and doing big cleaning days and it honestly doesn't help to not eat. So now I make myself stop. We we'll have a perfect bar. Have you guys ever eaten those? We love these in this house. They're really expensive so I kind of hide them for myself. <laughs> but they're just like a, they're supposed to be a pro, I guess they are a protein bar. They have 15 grams, but I just like how they taste and they have a lot of calories, give me a lot of energy. Lunch time is over and what I really want to do is just sit down and read my book. But I know that tonight when I sit down and read my book, it'll be so nice to know that all of this stuff is organized and all the stuff that I brought over from the farm is at least on its way to being clean and organized. And that's what I'm going for here is that moment, that moment tonight.
I decided not to put Christmas here. I'm gonna put Christmas in this corner because we only use Christmas once a year and this is all stuff I wanna have access to consistently throughout the year. This shelf is all the stuff I brought from the farm. And this is awesome because I can pull one bin out at a time and clean and look through and organize each bin. But it's still organized while I'm organizing. I just love that. So much better. Mom is running out of wallpaper adhesive, so I'm gonna head to Lowe's and grab some. Here I am walking into Lowe's <laughs> and immediately get completely distracted by the plants. Totally forgetting the whole reason that I even came in the first place because plants. I have been wanting for a while to fill my home with house plants, and I am not a house plant person, but I want to be. So here is my chance. I get completely distracted <laughs> looking at the lovely assortment and I am totally blissed out looking at every single one and then I realize, ah, I gotta get back. So I hurry up and go find the adhesive and I make it out of Lowe's without spending too much money and taking too much time. Did you wonder at all if I was gone too long? I thought... That seems to be taking longer than I thought it would, but I thought you never know what you're gonna run into out there, so. That's true. No, I just got sucked into the plant section. I thought I would take these out to the backyard. They just have like, you can kind of see, well, not on this one, but you can see like white powder on some of them, which is probably some kind of like pesticide or so. I don't know. I just want it not to be in my house. I kept talking about getting to the fun part and to me the fun part is going through all of this art and deciding what I'm going to put on the walls at least in the living room and then cleaning it all and maybe even hanging it so if you want to see what I've got some of this stuff I haven't seen in many years <laughs> this will have to be cleaned but I'm not even sure I'm gonna hang this up but it's this beautiful tree of life that I got from a place called 10,000 Villages like 15 years ago, but they still sell them. I saw it on their website the other day. And I remember when I bought this, it felt like I was spending a fortune. I think I got some money for Christmas or something and that's what I bought myself. And then here's a picture frame. I only have four children in this, so that tells you how long ago those pictures are from. Beautiful mirror. That's really pretty. Yeah, I put I made this, so I bought these little paintings, and then I bought the frame mm -hmm. and put them in there. Oh, that's when they were all so little. I know, I've only got four kids. Wow. There's these. These were, these are watercolors of someone related to Arthur's grandmother, so they were in her house, and then I got gifted them when she was still alive and I love them and I can't wait to put them on my walls. This was a wedding present from Arthur's aunt. She made it. She quilted it. So I need to take a rag and just wipe that off. One of my all-time favorite pictures of me and Arthur. This is on our mantle at our farmhouse. Oops. This is from our friends Jason and Lorraine at So The Land. These next four are um, prints of watercolor that a lady that I know makes. You can actually still buy these on Etsy. I've had these since I was pregnant with, I think, Wilder. This, an African lady carrying a sack on her head and it's made out of butterfly wings. And this came from Arthur's grandmother. If I think about it, this stuff makes me weep because I have memories of like it all hanging and even putting it up in my home and not just the farmhouse, like homes that I brought my children home from the hospital to and then also the farmhouse and <sighs> feel sometimes like I went into a coma when I go back there. Not, I don't feel this way every day, but when I go back to the farm, I 
feel like I went into a coma. And I woke up and it was five years later. <laughs> and I'm like, what happened? It's very disorienting. So here is the art that I would like to get on the wall. good throw blanket and these are the thickest throw blankets I've ever bought they were $17 and of course we love the fuzzy ones because they are so soft and warm and then I've had this basket for a while so I thought I would just put these blankets in there to, for them to have a place and I got these two I might put these in my room but I'm gonna put them out here for now just because I think they're pretty See if anyone even uses them. They're not as soft as the fuzzy blankets. I've always had a hate, hate relationship with throw pillows, so I may regret this, but I saw these and I just loved them. And they bring color into my living room instead of just white. And I love my curtains because of the design of the embroidery on them. And I love that they're cream because that's the only thing I could imagine putting across this whole entire wall of my house. But it's still not color, you know, it's texture and it's a really pretty cream. But when I saw these, I just thought, oh, all that color. Now these will end up on the floor all day, every day. <laughs> so really the joy of them is just for me. And the reason I've always hated them is because all they do is end up on the floor. Uh, two things that are, yeah, two things I did was I got ones with the covers that come off so that they're easy to wash because you know they're going to get dirty being thrown on the floor by seven kids all the time. And then the other thing I did is I have a basket to put them in because I'll probably just have them in the basket except for in the evenings whenever everyone's asleep and I can enjoy looking at them. That's kind of pretty. We'll see. I'm probably going to change that up. I also got this at Home Goods, and it is paper, y'all. That is paper. So pretty. I usually prefer art that somebody I know makes or is handed down to me or is a gift. I have a really hard time buying art at like Target or TJ Maxx, but I saw this. And I just immediately, it's like the, re, the way I know that I like something is when I see it, if I go, ah, oh, then I know that I should get it. And then I look at 50 other things and never feel that feeling and then come back to the thing that I felt good about. Just like this wallpaper, I looked at hundreds. I actually found this wallpaper first, typed in yellow wallpaper. This was like one of the first things I saw. But then I proceeded to look at 200 more wallpapers <laughs> and of course came back to this very first one that I saw that I was like oh I love that one that's what I do but that's how I know I like something is like my heart does a flutter okay speaking of hearts fluttering and hating pillows look what I did to myself I bought pillows at Target I had um had some credit from using the app and also from buying diapers so I got me these pillows. I might end up hating them and returning them. Why would you hate them? Because the kids just throw them on the floor right. all day. Yeah. That's why I haven't had throw pillows in ages. Well, I love the idea of going around the corner to that, uh, around the edge to that corner. It will hold up better, too. Okay. I'm going to tell you what little kids do. 
Pick and then pick and peel. I will. I always be so mad. Somebody peeled the wallpaper on the stairs. The only place I've got wallpaper in my whole house. And I know it's getting old. And there were some places where it had been chipped. On the stairs and downstairs. Downstairs yeah, yeah. to the basement. And so I noticed it after everybody left. I went, of course. That's well, you had, you had 11 children at your house running up and down the stairs. That's what kids do. I mean, I it didn't make me mad. It's just like, yeah, yeah. there was a bunch of kids here. That's what happens. But it's going to happen if they can find a, an edge to get. Oh, yeah. Well, then that's the best way to do it. Well, the babies, the twins, I, I'm trying to stop calling them the babies because they're not babies. So I'm trying to start calling them the twins. Have they been telling you that they're not babies anymore? Oh no, they love being babies. But I will tell you this, they are talking in complete sentences. Really? Truly too. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, I was getting kind of worried, you know, because I was seeing kids their age and hearing them talk and being like, hmm. So they're talking, he's been talking in complete sentences for a while, but she just started like last week. Good. She'll say, I like that. Does she really? Yeah, and she'll be like, what did she say to me the other day? Mom, don't something, something, something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But it was like a full, it was like a long sentence. So they're not just like, like they're accurate. They're gramma grammatically accurate. Right. Not just like blue, blue chair or, you know what I mean? Or yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They'd still talk that way too, but. It's, it was just so cool. And then Arthur called me last night and said, Truly's talking in complete sentences. I was like, I know. It just started this week. <laughs> so she said he made chili, but she called it all meat chicken and insists that you are wrong if you call it anything else. Oh, no. So he made chili last night, and she said, I like this chicken. And so he called me and told me about it. And I was like, oh, you made chicken chili. He's like, no, it's beef. I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I've had this plant, a friend of mine got this for me as a housewarming present last year. And it's been in water this whole time, never in soil, and I bought a pot for it finally. And I also finally bought some potting soil for it. Little side pony. This is one of the plants I got today. Love this. Definitely gonna get more for the windows. Oh, I didn't realize this one had rocks in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mom, you just finished. How does it feel? <laughs> I'm pooped. Yeah, you worked really hard. You were at it for eight hours. Yeah, I told you it would take You said it'll take eight hours. I was like, okay. Because I'm not fast. Well, you are precise. You did an excellent job. I'm gonna come around here and show you guys. It looks so good. The coloring on the camera isn't nearly as beautiful as it, at all as oh, it is in person. Really good, I love it. I love it. I love the texture, I love the color. On the camera, it looks kinda blue and orange, but no. it's yellow and white. Y'all wanna see something wild? Okay, this is how the balance on your camera can change the lighting and the color that actually you guys see whenever the video comes out, right? Here's the auto white balance. This is like what you would use if it was daylight outside and you went out to film. This is for filming in the shade. Cloudy days. This is light that you'd find in like a hospital or something. This is for fluorescent lighting. And then that's the auto white balance again. I don't know, I can't get it to look the way it looks in person, but it is really nice. And probably when it's daylight out, it'll look a little bit more normal. So I wanted to be able to see the color from the living room, just a peak of color. And that's exactly what you can see. It looks so good. My mom is such a gem. She's such a good mom and grandma. Well, I'm gonna eat some supper and then I'm gonna keep working because I want to have like the art on the walls, at least some of it, before the kids get home and 
You know what's so interesting to me is that you would think kids wouldn't care about things like pictures on the wall and wallpaper on the wall, but they actually really do. I know for a fact that when they get home, they're gonna be like, oh my goodness, and they'll either love it or they'll hate it, but they'll be excited about it. I love that my kids get excited about these little things that I do to make the home cozy and nice, and it makes me want to take the effort and the money to do it even more. Good morning. This is the next day. The kids stayed at Arthur's last night and they will be home soon. So I wanna finish up a few things before they get here. I was just w wiped out last night and I decided when my mom left to just go ahead and be done for the day. I like it. I'm no interior decorator. So I'm just going with what I like. If, if something makes me feel lit up when I see it, we're gonna say it's good to go. So you may love it, you may hate it. I like it. It makes me feel cheerful and filled with joy. I think that's too small for that wall. Oh well, I'm gonna leave it there for now. See how I feel about it in a couple days. Okay, it's done. I don't know if that's the final order of the fabrics, but I at least got the pictures up there. of joy to decorate my home and it's not because I think that having this like perfectly decorated aesthetic home is important at least not to me I know to a lot of people it is and that's okay but to me those kinds of things are really low on the importance scale and for years I have been operating out of doing the most basic most important tasks because that's all I had capacity for one sign for me that I am healing is that I actually have the mental energy and the space, the capacity to decorate my home, to put pictures on the wall, to go to the farm and actually get my belongings and bring them here. And um, as painful as that was, I was still able to do it and I have not been able to do it. I've been to the farm a couple times and I just like can't be there. It's too hard for me. It's a good feeling. And I even have dreams like bubbling up inside of me, dreams of maybe buying my own house, dreams of traveling dreams of what it would look like to stay here and create a life and i don't even know which dream i'm gonna go for or maybe i'll go for all of them but i do feel myself coming alive and i do think there's an ebb and a flow to it because because there's just an ebb and a flow to life and to the situation that we're still very much in in some ways and so yeah, all of these, just these little things of decorating and buying plants and putting pictures on the wall, they are small things. And you don't have to have those things to have a good life and to create a comfortable home for your family. But for me, it just represents that I am getting creative again and that I am dreaming again and that I'm having more capacity. And that feels like healing to me. Wow. Do you like it? I got my jacket on. Oh, good. Yeah. Royal, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh baby. Oh, it's so much better. How did he say that? It's so good. Because he's an English-speaking boy now. Guys, come on, come on. I missed you. Look around. No, they're real. Oh, cool. Why You move the basket. Do you want to you want to put your chair in front of the fire? 
Cozy, cozy. Y'all wanted to turn on a movie? Yeah! We can do that. Somebody found the coziest spot in the house right when you got home. Love you. Right by the fireplace with the best fuzzy blanket. <laughs> The chaos has returned. Ah, woo! Woohoo! Where are you going, girl? Oh, you're just. He's just putting the veggies in the dip. Good stuff. <laughs> pizza on this cozy winter night. Thank you guys for joining us and we will see you in the next video.